Uh, when I, you know, I started raising private money in 2009, February, 2009. Uh, you know, we call it mom and pop money, right? From individuals. Yep. And I do the same thing. In fact, I never like similar to what you just said, I never have an initial conversation with a potential right. private lender and have a deal for them invest in because for right. one thing, in addition to the trust may not be there, uh, the credibility, et cetera. But I already sound like I'm desperate and I'm begging without yeah. even, without even trying to sound like I'm desperate and I'm begging. Um, it's like, like when I, when I'm like, so, you know, I put on my teacher hat. I teach people what, you know, Carol, Joe and I, we've got right now about 47 private lenders mm -hmm. that, you know, invest with us. We move it from property to project to project. Yeah. And, not one of them had ever heard of private money. None mm. of them even knew anything about self-directed IRAs. And that's a right or down or right there. Like over half of our private lenders actually are using their retirement funds yep. that they have moved over to a self-directed IRA company. But yeah, it's like, you know, if, if I talk with someone about private money and a deal in the initial conversation, um, in parentheses, they're hearing me say, oh, you need me to fund that deal. And you're in a scrape <laughs> if I don't. <laughs> yep. that's, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, and, and that's why when I build my oil company and when we teach and train people, we use something that's called the four step blueprint. It is a system built around four calls or four meetings or four Zooms but it's broken down where the first two are largely build trust, build a relationship, present the opportunity on the third call and hopefully close and ask for the commitment of investment on the fourth. Now, sometimes it's five, but it's broken down. And here's the reason. There's a wonderful book that I recommend to anybody that wants to understand this process. It's called The Trust Economy. And you can find it on Amazon. It was written by a wonderful gentleman that is a psychologist and an economist, and it's called The Trust Economy. And inside this book, the author, Philippe de Conner, talks about six things that have to happen sequentially, one after the other, to build trust in another person. The first thing is it starts with perception. What does that person think of you when they first meet? They're checking you out, right? How you dress the quality of your business card. And by the way, Jay, you've got the best business card I think I've ever seen in this business. <laughs> Number two, it gets to temptation. This is you asking questions, building that relationship, finding out what's going to tempt them to move forward. Then it gets to three, connection. Understand this, listeners, investing is an emotional buying decision. These people are not looking at a spreadsheet. They're not looking at a flow chart. They're investing ultimately in you, the confidence, the enthusiasm, and that emotional connection that you're making. Then you get to number four, and that's what we call validation. That's what I did before with that question. I validated that trust existed before I presented the opportunity. Then you get to affiliation. That's where they're invested. They've given you the money. They now want to see success. And if you do it great and you perform, you get to the sixth step. And that is what we call attachment. That's where they open up their book and they say, Jay, you need to meet Scott. Scott's my golf buddy and he's got money too. You see, getting referrals from your existing investor base is the most beautiful thing about learning how to use other people's money because then it becomes a warm introduction and a warm relationship. You can accelerate the process dramatically because that implied trust is already there. That introduction is now coming from somebody else. But those six steps are the six steps in building that relationship and going from zero to 60 and then to what I call the closing table.